Yeah. So just on my way to work this morning, this beautiful Friday morning, and I'm pulling up at Morley Hayes, which is a, a golf club here in Derbyshire. And I'm going to pick up a special guest today for Baytree. Um, he's a local lad actually from Derbyshire. I'm going to be start doing more of this next year. Um, so listen out for these little uh, podcast types, type of videos that we're going to be doing with Baytree. It's going to be really interesting. So here we go. Let's get the man who's waiting here. Here he is. The man. The man. Ty How Mitchell. How are you doing, Ty? Well, myself. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm not bad, mate. Good, good, no, good. good. I thought I'd get you from here, mate, because you've just been having some hole. Have you just been playing, have you? Nah, just from on the driving range. Have you? It's too cold to play in this weather, was it? Minus three? Yeah. How did you get on? So-so. Uh, yeah? You think you have a few good shots. Yeah. So you have a few shots, and then you start <laughs> missing them, don't you? But no, it's good. How have you been? I'm all right, yeah. I'm good, thank you. Really good. Yes. Good. Last time we played, I think you beat me, actually. It was me, you and Si, wasn't it? And I think that um, I think I had a couple of good holes. I'm not even sure, to be honest, who won. I think it was very close. It was very close, wasn't Sy. it? There's only a couple of shots between it. We're all useless, if you, to be honest. <laughs> but if you're useless together... Mate, I'm practising. You... I'm practising. I'm on it. I'm, I, I'm on it next year. I'm going to really, really focus on getting it sorted, my golf game. and. Um, we sponsor a, a local professional now uh, yeah. called James Watley and okay. um, is a really, really good player, yeah. exceptional player and exceptional coach as well. Ah, oh, so you're going to be cheating is what you're saying? You're I'm going to be cheating, mate. I'm going to be cheating. Back. I am going to be cheating, yeah. If that's what we're doing. I'll have to call up my the old boy Rick Shields, run out and get some of my lessons in. <laughs> like, Rick, I need you, mate. We, I can't let this competition get ahead of me. <laughs> Ty Mitchell, what, um, what's happening at the moment? I know you've just had a bit of a celebrity fight going on. Yeah, I boxed, and, obviously, um, a couple of weeks ago. What happened ago. there? I smashed him in, didn't I? <laughs> you know, with no losers around here. Um, but yeah, to be fair, like I said, you know I had to lose like two and a half stone in like eight days because wow. I was out living at large in Dubai when I, um, before my fight, which yep. was not very um, clever for the, mo for the average person, but... Yeah. I know he didn't have the capability of beating me anyway, even at my worst. So yeah, I um, got down to weight, made the fight, beat him up for five rounds and that was it really. Yeah. Um, since then I've just been chilling out, having a rest. Um, I give myself a week off, then I now give myself two weeks off. Might oh, give myself three uh, weeks off. Nice. But I'm going to get back in the gym anyway next, on Monday. Yeah. And tick over over the Christmas period. Yeah. And then... Um, See what yeah, happens from there. Yeah, I'm going to spend a lot of time in Dubai next year because there's a lot of um, influencer boxing out there that's quite high profile. There's yep. a lot of good opportunities there, amongst some of the things. I'm going to be spending a lot of time over here in England, obviously, as well. Yeah. Um, Tyson's obviously about to sign the deal with the USIC anytime. We should be get this should be signing any day, hopefully. If everything it all looks good, so I'll be spending a lot of time in Markham because I'll be sparring him for the fight. Me being a southpaw and all. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and then other than that, I'm just trying to go and start in my, I'm in the stage of starting my own YouTube channel. Fantastic. Trying to come from a different angle, trying to start like a little YouTube show on there, get yeah. to know. Obviously, like I said, I have a lot of um, people in the public eye that are good friends of mine. So I thought like I'd like a lot of people to get a diff to see a different side to them that obviously they don't see, obviously in whatever profession they do, they just know them in that format. So to see them um, how they are at home or doing silly sports that they probably don't normally do, and try and get a different feel, feel for it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I'm I'm looking to start that up in the in the coming weeks and months. Yeah, that's good, mate. That's good. Yes. I think people follow you because you're an interesting guy. I think you're just a genuine guy, and I think that's why people follow you. I mean, you've got yeah. I know you've got hundred thousand followers now. I mean, you must have some celebrity friends with a lot of followers. A lot yeah, more, it's, it's, like it's in the, it's, way in the millions, eh? Yeah. So it's subjective. When I had. Four or five thousand, I thought, oh, when I got to ten thousand, I've got a lot of yeah. people. And when you get That's to twenty, how I am. <laughs> yeah. So whenever you get to that stage, no matter what stage you get to, it's like money. Right. You think you've got money until you're around people with money. Yeah. Like you're rich until you're around people that have got five hundred grand in the bank. Then they're only rich until they're around millionaires. Then millionaires only rich until they're around some billionaires. It's just subjective. Yeah. Um, to me, I used to, if you if I'd have got a hundred thousand followers a couple of years ago, I'd have thought it was amazing. Yes. But now it's nothing to me because my mates have got millions. Yeah. So I no matter what, it's like I say, it's subjective. But I'm in my own lane. I've got my own path and I'm my own person. 
Um, That's brilliant. So I'm getting there, it's doing well. Um, and yeah, I have good engagement. So I have a lot of people that follow my stuff and they like me and I like them, so it's good. That's good, mate. Now, obviously, you've been a long-standing customer of Baytree. Yeah. You're a local lad like I am. Um, you bought a few cars off Baytree, actually. Yeah. And I'm pleased to confirm, it's been a while now, we've been trying to get the deal over the line for quite a while, haven't we? But you are now an official partner of Baytree. Um, I'm delighted to say. So watch this space for next year because we've got some bits planned together, haven't we? We're going to yeah, do some are. sort of YouTube videos in cars and bits and bobs. Amazing. But Ty, today, I've not told you this bit now, yeah. I know I was picking you up at the golf range just to bring you down and show you the new showroom, but I have got a couple of cars in mind for you today. Oh, lovely. So, <laughs> lovely. Didn't tell you that bit, did I? No, I did mention to you the other day, didn't I, on the phone that I'm looking, I'm in the market for a new car. You did. I didn't think it'd be so quick. I but know. I am in the market for a new I'll car. I'll wait so. until you get your fight out of the way, you see, so yeah, you've got for, a little purse yeah, there. Yeah, I get some money in the bank, then, let's go, <laughs> treat let's myself go. for Christmas. So I don't know what I've got in. I've got a couple of cars in mind for you. Okay. Um, so let's have a look. But I was going to show you the showroom, but I was going to add that as an added yeah. surprise. So. Now, I'm looking forward to seeing the showroom. Like I said, I've seen it on the... Um, I've not been in properly ever since no. you've had it all re renovated and stuff. I've seen it a couple of it on your clips on your Instagram and stuff. Yeah. I've not been there in person, so I'm looking forward to seeing it 100. percent Yeah, looking forward to showing you, mate. It's um, it's transformed the business really because we've invested a lot of money in the showroom, and um, you know we don't need a massive Ferrari sort of style, 10 million pound sort of um, showroom, but we need a nice showroom for customers. Yeah, it's been trading for a long time now, 16 years, so. It's internet driven our business, so it's kind of it's works, a new world really. now, isn't it? It's like, a new world, yeah. It is a new world. You used to pay silly money before to get adverts on TV, ads in the papers, and stuff yeah. like that. Now, with this new world, it's all internet based. You just set up an Instagram account, set up a Facebook account, whatever it may be, and that's your free advertisement. Yeah. But obviously, then it's a competitive market because nearly everybody, nearly everybody. I'd say 99% of the world have probably got an Instagram account or a face <laughs> or some form of social media. Even in poor countries, a lot of them have it. Do you know what I mean? I so know. it's um, a competitive market. So you have to do something different to stand out to the crowd. I mean, you must do some posts. I mean, I do some posts and I get like four or 5,000 hits within an hour, something yeah. like that. You know, you must do some posts. Yeah, I do. I don't really post that much, to be fair. I should post a lot more. I normally try and post once a month. Oh, do you? Yeah, I only really post once a month. But it's, it depends. Everyone's market is different. You're yeah. selling cars. You've got to, you've yeah, just got to sell yeah. cars. People want to see different stuff from me. I don't buy any box a few times a year. So with certain stuff, with my actual posts, I, I try and keep it limited. And some people's accounts, it, it all depends on your audience. Some people's accounts, to keep their engagement up, they have to post a lot. If I keep posting a lot, it might drive my audience down because I'm posting the same similar stuff, do you know what I mean? It's not, yeah, I've not got yeah. a new card to post all the time. Do yeah. you understand? So everyone's audience is different, you've just got to know your audience, I guess. Yeah. Um, but once I start my YouTube channel, I'll be posting more and stuff like that. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? And we, we, we execute a lot of uh, deals at Baytree online, so yeah. I would say, I would say 80% of our business that we write is all done on the telephone, internet, Instagram. It's amazing, see, isn't it? Yeah. Who'd, have, who'd have thought that ten years ago? People are buying cars, not even even seen them. There's not even seen buying. them. No, we. Well, I mean, in lockdown, we invested in a trailer. We've got a couple of trailers now, a sports trailer, and most people want the cars delivering now. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? And the yeah. mindset now. They don't even want to remember before you'd walk around all these different car showrooms. You go from this one to that one. You might test drive a car. People are just looking at them saying, "I buy that," mm. because we, really, what have we got to lose? It comes with warranty. They don't yeah, really exactly. need to test drive it. If there's something wrong with it, it's no. poorly, poorly warranted. Exactly. So. so here we are then, Ty, um, coming up to Bay Tree. Um, you remember it as a sort of partition showroom, didn't you? So, yeah. do you remember we had it partitioned in the middle? I used to have yeah, a workshop in there a while ago, a few years ago. So, anyway, I've had it all knocked through, so you'll see all that. Um, we've got, this is the main supercar showroom down here. And then we've actually got two units. People don't know this, but we've actually got two more units. Um, somewhere else, uh, full of cars as well. So we have constantly have a hundred cars available we'll go and uh, see them, eh? on the website. We're going to see them. Yeah, I'm going to take you to some other units and um, have a look, look around, see what you think, see what catches your eye. What do you think? Four wheel drive? I'm in between or, or supercar. I'm in between supercar and four wheel drive at the oh. minute. I feel like I'm on a supercar, <laughs> but it is actually winter at the minute, so it could be a four wheel drive. <laughs> I tell you so, what, I might do a little, might do a little four-wheel drive one, and then maybe a supercar one after. Sounds good. To Let's me. see, eh?
Right. Let's go.